Good morning. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning, everybody. Friends, another class. Today is Monday, it's 10.30, so we have to start our class, like all more uh, Mondays. And uh, I remember that we had a homework, which was a kind of reading, reading comprehension. It was a reading, the title of the reading was The Airport Photographer. That was the title of the reading. It, it is an extra paper that I sent to you through WhatsApp and in the chat of our conversation here through Opie Skype. The airport photographer. So let's begin checking our homework. Let's go there. This is the text, you know, the airport photographer. And the comprehension exercise is in the other page. See this? Here in the second page, you have the options A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So let's begin our uh, Revision of the homework. It says, uh, I'm a photographer based at Heathrow Airport in London. Airlines often commission me to take photos of aircraft or their staff. I concentrate on getting shots of celebrities as they come through the arrivals hall, hall. I sell some photos directly to the daily newspapers and celebrity magazines, and the rest go to a picture agency. On a typical day, I look out for the flights arriving from Los Angeles on the major airlines, and now we have 37. And then you had to choose among the letters that you have at the end, A, B, C, D, E, etc., etc., and and they are how many? One, two, three, four, five, 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 five and six answers. So we are supposed to have minimum four correct answers to pass this. In the case that this was an examination. So we need minimum four correct answers to pass this imaginary reading comprehension exam. In number 37, would you be so kind of writing in the chat the letter that you chose? Well, for Jose is D, for Celia is D, for Laura Diaz is D, and D is the answer. You, you three, has one or have one mark. 37, letter D, that's where you generally find the celebrities. And I continue reading. It says, most of them fly either by the British Airways, because it's such an established company, or with Virgin Atlantic, because the owner, Richard Branson, moves uh, in those celebrities circle. You've got to cover all the incoming flights, though. Victoria Beckham took to fly with Air New Zealand at one time. I know the ground and security staff here very well. And then you have 38. What is your option in 38? For Jose, C, for Celia is letter C also. Laura coincides is C. And nobody else. You three friends have now two marks because in 37, D was correct. And now in 38, letter C, which is often it's one of them who tips me off that a big star has just come through passport control. This is letter C and letter C is the answer. That can really make all the difference to be in, in the right place at the right time. 
I've been working here for many years now, so I've seen thousands of celebrities throughout the decades. In my experience, the all-stars are the best. Joan Collins is my favorite. She sends me a Christmas card every year. Mick Jagger also knows me and always says hello. People like Paul McCartney and Rod Stewart are lots of fun too. And then we have 39. What did you choose for 39? A for Celia, Jose B, Alex A, and nobody, Alora A, thank you. So A is the answer, friends. If you wrote A, you have another mark. A means you get the impression that they enjoy the, the attention. Yes. So 39A, I continue. I guess that's because uh, they can see the value of it. Today's big stars are generally okay and give you a polite smile. I won't mention names, but there are some who wave me away rudely, whilst others even have their manager popping up from nowhere, saying, no pictures, to the waiting photographers. 40. In 40, what is your letter? E for Celia. And for Laura Diaz is F. And no, ah, yes, Jose F and Alex F. Very good, because F is the answer. F in number 40 is the correct answer. F means when that happens, they have to do what call duck and dive to get a shot. You've probably seen photographers leaping around in this manner on TV footage of celebrities arriving at airports and wondered why they do it. Well, often that's why. And now we have 41. What is your letter in 41? G for Laura, G for Jose, G for Alex. And you three are correct, friends. G is the answer. Correct. I don't know how many right answers you have, but G is correct here. With some stars, however, you're never quite sure uh, what you are going to get. But a buggy and hoped on the back, so that I was chasing it, trying to get a shot of her. But the next time I saw her, she just engaged and came up to me to show me the ring. But if today's stars don't make my job as easy as it was, today's technology more than makes up for it. When I started out, it was such a less sophisticated. I remember when the British Queen's granddaughters, Princesses Beatrice and Eugene, were just babies. I heard that their mother, the Duchess of York, was coming through Heathrow with them. She was carrying both babies in her arms. 42? What? What letter in 42? B for Thelia, B for Laura, B for Alex, and for Jose is letter E. Well, in fact, 42 is letter B, friends, because B is perfect. I was lucky enough to get some lovely shots of them. Letter B. I realized I had a good blah, blah, blah. I won't continue because we don't have more spaces in blank, right? But that was. I'm going to repeat the answers for the people who arrive a little bit late. Uh, according to Cambridge, friends, in 37 is letter D, in 38 C, in 39 A, in 40 F, in 41 G, and in 42 letter B. If you have, I repeat, if you have four correct answers, because there are six, if you have four correct answers, you are passing. Good. Thank you for the effort of reading and trying to do this exercise. It is important for you. You know, you are developing abilities. Reading comprehension is ability. It's not knowledge. It's nothing that you can memorize. No, no. Abilities that you develop through reading and answering questions and reading again complex text with complex vocabulary and then at home you have the chance of using the dictionaries is that bad no this is excellent when you use your dictionary because you are learning new words 
Is it possible to remember all the words that we read in a text? Impossible, but something, something remains in your brain after that. Principally, when after reading some text, after some reading comprehension exercises, you notice that they are repeating one or two words. These are the important words. The words you notice they are repeating from text to text to text again. Thank you very much for this. In other classes, my friends, part of the homework was the listening that you have uh, on page 129 in your books. But I don't remember, frankly, I don't remember if I assigned this exercise as homework or if we did it in class, I don't remember. Can you help me out? Do you remember if we did it or if I assigned it as homework, the listening on page 129? Yes or no? Okay, no. So we haven't done it. The question is, have we done the listening or not? According to Laura, it's no. Aha, Thelia, thank you very much. If Laura and Thelia say no, it's because no. Okay, Alex, very good. Thank you, Celia. Because I don't want to repeat an exercise, logically. But one part of this unit, unit number 12, is a nope. Okay, Jose. Thank you, friends. We are going to do it now. Because this listening is extremely important. In exercise 2, page 129, it says the indications are you are going to hear people talking in eight different situations. All the conversations are dealing with animals, you know, because this is the topic of our lesson. For question one to eight, choose the best answer, A, B, or C. So this is the idea. I'm going to give you one minute for you to read the eight questions rapidly in case you need to use your dictionaries. So I'm going to give you time. Maybe one minute is not much, right? So I'm going to give you time for you to read the questions and the answers and use your translators or dictionaries. OK, take your time.
Well, I, I know, I know that sometimes these number of repetitions are not enough for all the students to get the answer. I know that. And today we are practicing. So I will give you a chance of listening to this again at home, right? And when you feel prepared, send me a message for me to check your answers, right? Good. Okay, Jose, but let's give some minutes to the rest of the class, okay? Okay, I think that most people are ready, so let's check this. In number one, you the question is, you overhear a conversation between two women about animals. Which animal does she think her family would choose? A, a cat, B, a dog, C, a horse. What is your letter? For, for Gemma is A, for Jose is A, for Laura is A, a cat, a cat, a cat. And the rest for Celia is let us see a horse. Okay. Only one correct answer. Celia is correct. Is let us see a horse. The answer is a horse. Number two, you hear part of a television program about zebras. What does the presenter say about their appearance? A, B, or C? In number two, B for Alex, B for Celia, and B for Jose. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. and Laura Diaz B and Gemma B, correct. B is the answer. Zebras can recognize each other by their stripes. Number three, you overhear a conversation between a boy and a girl about birds and the girl's garden. How does the girl's mother feel about birds? A, B, or C? In number three, C for Jose, C for Alex, C for Celia. So we have three Cs. And Gemma is letter B. And Laura is letter C. She worries about them. Letter C is the correct answer in number three. Be careful with the answers because they are eight. If you have five correct answers, minimum five, you are passing, right? So let's go to number four. Uh, what is it? Yes, I think it's number four, no? Well, mm -mm -mm. you over here. Uh, okay, Felia, thank you, thank you, friend. You over here, part of a conversation in which a girl and a boy are talking about dogs. What's the boy doing? 
A, B or C? What is the boy doing, friends, in your opinion? A, B or C? B for Alex, C for Celia, Gemma is letter B, Alex B, Celia C, Gemma B, Laura B, Jose A. We have all the options, but no, only one is the correct. It's letter B, complaining about his dog. Number four is B. Number five, you hear a woman giving part of a lecture about animal rights. She says, zoos, A, B or C? Number five. C for Alex, C for Jose, C for Celia, uh -huh. C, 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 C for Laura Diaz, and Gemma C. Correct, everybody, you are right. Letter C should be closely supervised is the correct answer. Six, you hear a girl talking about some animals she worked with. When she was with them, she felt frightened, relaxed, or strange. A, B, or C, opinions, B for Alex, B for Celia, B for Jose, B, 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 B for Gemma, B, 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 and B for Laura Diaz. Yes, yes, correct, relaxed. Seven, you hear a boy talking about hippos. What does he say about them? A, B, or C? Seven, A for Alex, A for Jose, A for Celia, A, 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 and, and the rest of the class, Gemma is A, and Laura is C. Well, the answer is A. They are more dangerous than he previously thought. So 7A. 8. You hear a woman talking to her husband about a circus. She's talking to him in order to A, B, or C. A for Jose, A for Alex, A for Celia, A for Laura Diaz, A for Gemma, very good, friends. Yes, yes. It's let A make a suggestion. And now, kids, in secret, don't tell anybody, but in secret, count the correct answers you have. And if they are five, feel, feel happy because you are passing. If you don't have five because you have four or three, oh, come on, next time. Ah, it's not so important, right? Good. Really, this is listening. In this listening, friends, we heard people speaking about animals in general, but for me it was interesting when they spoke about animals in the zoos and animals in circus. I want you to watch some videos for you to realize, because you are innocent kids. Think of Jose Luis, for example. He's a, he's a child, innocent. He doesn't know anything about life, but I want you to see some documentaries that I saw last year on television about how people treat animals in the circus and animals in, in the zoos. Not always, right? Not always. Uh, we cannot generalize because there are circus and circuses, right? But it was a striking in America when we saw this video. Let's have a look. I'm going to show you the videos. Let's begin with what? Let's see. Yes, let's begin with the circus.
Did you see that? We never know about how much animal suffers when they are trained. Hmm? Uh, between quotation trained because there are a lot of harmful ways of doing this so they suffer a lot it's terrible Celia yes it's terrible Jose no sound but I, I send it to you so you if you want you can watch it again because you have it in the WhatsApp group right uh, because I think it's interesting okay I think it's interesting and did you hear what the woman said at the end? Yes, yes, Celia, it, it is it is forbidden in, in Spain and in America too. But this was the moment when we found out what was happening in the circus because we didn't know. And do you think this is a problem only in, in circus, also in some zoos? Let's see a video about what was happening in a circus in Virginia, in the United States. I'm going to show you the video for you to know, because I know young people love animals like the rest of the people. Give me a chance. Let's go to zoos. Where is it? Aha, here. It was a scandal in the United States when the television showed that.
Well, you see, that is what was happening in that zoo, the bridge zoo in Virginia. It was terrible. It was a scandal. Of course, conditions changed after the scandal, but it was what was happening in that specific zoo, and maybe it's still happening in other zoos around the world. Hmm? Zoos are changing, as you can know. Now they are making not cages for animals, but expansions of land, expansion of land, so the animals can feel more or less, never similar, but more or less like in their uh, environment. Trying to make the animals uh, more comfortable. How, anyway, people still have the idea of the necessity of zoos because there are animals that our children, the future generation, won't be able to see in their environment, in their lives. So this is a, a way of having contact uh, between new generation children and, t and teenagers and uh, exotic animals. Is that a good idea or not? I don't know. I don't know what your opinion is about this, but the reality is that we should be more careful with animals because they are very important in our lives. I want to show you now on the other part of the story how beneficial animals are for the health of men. Let me show you that.
Okay, you see, that's what animal gives us. And that's how we treat animals. It is important that you new generation keep this in mind because something has to change uh, uh, about animals. Anyway, there are many, many people working on changing the concept we have about animals, right? There are beautiful people working on that. And circuses and zoos have changed a lot lately, of course, of course. But you have to keep on working on that. Now, I would appreciate that you go to page number 132 in your book. Yes, Jose. But, but things are changing, friend. Do you have a pet, Jose? Nope. Ah, poor boy. Ah, but you have children. Ah, something? Well, friends, page 132, and we are going to do two exercises there. I repeat, page 132, students' book, exercises three and four. Okay? This is what we are going to do, and as soon as you finish, send me a little message for me to check, right? I repeat, page 132 in the student's book. Okay, Thelia, exercises three and four. Ah, good. In, in my book, Jose, it's 142. Let me show you, let me show you. Give me just a second for you to see the page so you can identify it. This one. Have a look, Jose. This page. Good. Exercises three and four, friends.
lot are finished. And Alex. And Jose. And Gemma. Good. And Felia too. And Laura, what's the difference between recall and recall? Recall and recollect. Well, recollect is volver a recoger. And recall is recordar. So they are different, see? Okay, friends, let's check the answers. In number three, read the article quickly without paying attention to the gaps. What animals? do Nell and Toti have in their circles? Can you give me your answers for exercise three? What animals? What animals? Well, for him, I's horse, for Jose Luis, I can't hear. For Jose Luis, is no wild animal. Horses, for Alex, horses, Hema horse. Yes, you are correct. Yes, no wild animals, only horses. Correct. And the second part, part four. For question one to A, read the text again and decide which answer, A, B, C, or D, best fits each gap. There is an example at the beginning, which is letter zero which is own, let us see. But now, number one, what is the letter for you? A, B, C, or D? For Alex is A, for Celia A, for Laura Diaz is A. Um, and for the rest of the class, friends, A for Gemma, A for Jose, e, B for Jose, sorry. The answer is A, cold, cold. Number one, A. Number two, what is your letter? C for Alex. C for Laura Diaz, C for Celia, uh, C, 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 Jose C, Gemma C, very good. C is the correct answer, met. Number three, A, B, C, or D? In number three, D for Alex, D for Laura, D for Gemma, D, D, D. And for Jose is letter D, and for Celia is letter A. No, it's letter D, several, several. Number four, A, B, C, O, D. B for Alex, B for Laura Diaz, and Celia is B. For Gemma is letter C, for Jose Luis is letter C. And in number four, according to Cambridge, is letter B, longed. In number five, A, B, C, O, D. D for Alex, C for Laura, A for, we have all the options, A for Gemma, D for Jose, D for Celia, and the answer is D, reminds. Six, A, B, C, or D, in number six, opinions. A for Jose, A for Alex, for Celia is A, 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 A for Laura, a for Gemma, yes, very good, friends. A, based. Seven, A, B, C, or D in number seven. D for Alex. And for Jose is D, for Laura is D. Aha, Gemma, D, Celia, D. Yes, yes, D is correct, audience. Very good. And number eight, B, sorry, A, B, C or D, C for Laura, C for Celia, C for Alex. For Jose C, for him I C, and yes, you are correct. Let us see spend. So in number one is A, in number two is C, 
in number three is letter D, in number four is longed, longed. We never use that verb. It's a verbo anhelar in past, in past anhelado or something like that, right? Longed. So in number five is letter D, in number six is A, in number seven is D, and in number eight is letter C. Okay, good. Now, let's go, friends. Let's go to the vocabulary on page 129. 129 vocabulary section. Let's study new words. Here on page 129, we have the verb avoid. I think you know the meaning of avoid. Prevent, similar to Spanish, prevent. Protect, oh, very similar to Spanish. Check. Control. Keep an eye. It's a phrasal verb, it's an expression, keep an eye. And supervise. First activity, you are going to use the translators immediately and try to find the meaning in Spanish of avoid, prevent, protect, check, control, keep an eye together, keep an eye and supervise, please. Let's have a look in the dictionaries because it's important that you know exactly the meaning of these words before next exercise. I'm going to give you two minutes, right? Celia finished, Laura finished, Alex finished. I want you to watch this video because in reality, very good, Gemma, very good. In reality, the problem is between avoid and prevent because they are very similar, you know, they are very, very similar and sometimes confusing. I want you to watch this video.
Well, friends, I stop here because I would like to check if you understand or not. Let's do exercise one, page 129. Exercise one. Spanish ex uh, speaking exam candidates often confuse the following words. Avoid, prevent, and protect. Check, control, keep an eye on, keep an eye on, huh? and supervise. Let's see if you can do it correctly. Exercise one, page 129.
Very good. So let's check it. I mean, we'd have to check or we'd have to control or we'd have to supervise her quite closely to start with, to make sure, blah, blah, blah. What is your option? Check, control or supervise? Which is the one you think is the best? For Jose is supervised, for Alex is supervised, for Laura is supervised. Yes, yes, very similar to Spanish, supervised for Gemma. So supervise in number one, yes, I continue. I mean, we'd have to supervise her quite closely to start with, to make sure she was safe. At least until we know she can, and here again, she can check, she can control, she can, she can keep an eye on, supervise it. What is the word? Control for Alex and for Jose's control. Yes, and for Gemma is control. Very good. Control is the answer. Perfect. Number two, we really got him to avoid, prevent, protect us from burglars. Pro prevent from Laura, Alex, pre protect, Jose, protect. Yes, yes, protect, protect for Gemma and Celia, protect. Us, you see, Pro protect us. Prevent us es evitar que nosotros, no, es protegernos a nosotros. Protect us. Now, number three, well, all that barking might uh, avoid, prevent, protect a burglary. Prevent for Alex and prevent for Gemma, prevent for Jose. Correct. Prevent is the answer. Number four, the more modern zoos need to be strictly inspected to make sure that the animals are kept in the best conditions possible. That way, diseases and other problems can be, and now the options, avoided, prevented, protected. Opinions, avoided Alex, avoided Laura Diaz, avoided Gemma, and uh, Jose Luis protected and Celia avoided. The problem is that in this case, avoided and prevented are possible. See that they are very similar in this specific sentence. So if you select it avoided or prevented, yes, very good. Five, I had to check, control, or keep an eye on them as well. What is the perfect here? Because they could be quite rough with playing, blah, blah, blah. Keep an eye on, Celia, keep an eye on, Alex. Keep an eye, Jose. Yes, yes, Laura, keep an eye on. This is the answer. You see, excellent. Yes, Gemma. This topic can be very, very complicated sometimes, unnecessarily, but they are confusing, yes, for you, and for everybody. Yes, when you, friends, let me tell you something. When you go to serious dictionaries, uh, I am thinking of uh, word formation, for example, and you ask, they say, well, prevent is principally prevenir. Huh? The principal meaning of prevent is prevenir a problem. And when you look for uh, something like avoid, for example, they, they, they are very similar. Huh? Uh, they have similar translations. But I think that eludir could be esquivar, eludir. This is the principal meaning of avoid. And maybe this can help. But we have to finish because of the time. So what is our homework? Our homework is going to be on page, let me see the page, because uh, yes, it is on page 134, page 134, we have exercise number four, 
I repeat, the homework is exercise four, page 134. Let me show you the page. This one here, because it's a reading, you know, and we don't have time to be reading in class, imagine. So this has to be a homework. Exercise four, page 134. And now in the workbook, in the workbook, page 49, please have a look. Yes, in the workbook, let me see the workbook. Page 49. No, not this one. It's page 49. Give me a second. This is 48. This is 49. Because we have a vocabulary exercise here. You see? Vocabulary. Avoid, prevent, protect, check, control, supervise. This is the exercise. I repeat, vocabulary exercise on page 49 in the workbook. This is the other part of the homework. So we have two homeworks, right? The reading on page 134, exercise four, and the vocabulary in the workbook, page 49. These are our homeworks for next class. So friends, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Have a beautiful day. See you on Wednesday. Bye bye. Bye friends. Thank you, Jose, for your patience.